Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a countdown timer to your email designs that can then be exported to HTML directly from Figma. So to get started, all we need to do is open up a new Figma file, go to the resources icon in the top header here, and then if you search for emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y, under the plugins tab you'll see the emailify result pop up, and if you click on that, you can run the plugin by either clicking the run button here, or you can right click or click on this little more options icon and save that to your Figma plugins list. And that's just going to let you access it again later really easily. So I've already added it to my plugins list. So I'm going to right click on my canvas, go down to plugins, go down to saved plugins, and then just click on the emailify menu item. And that's just going to run the plugin we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is you basically add uh, a special email frame using the plugin. So I'm just going to add a new uh, frame. I'm just going to call it email countdown, add that container. And then what you can do is you can basically go through and add uh, customizable content. So if we go through and add some of these modules, it just instantly adds a whole bunch of content that you can customize in Figma as you'd expect. Uh, changing the content, changing the styles, changing the colors, all of that sort of stuff to suit your needs. Um, so I'm going to keep the design really simple today. If you want to deep dive into how to actually design these using the plugin for desktop and mobile and do a whole bunch of fancy stuff, uh, there's a whole bunch of other tutorials on the channel that you can check out if you find the Emailify playlist on our YouTube channel. So for today, as I said, I'm just going to be showing you how to add a countdown timer, one that looks like this. Uh, directly into your HTML emails in Figma. So there's a few different services that offer this. Um, I don't have a particular one that I recommend. There's a whole bunch. Most of them have free options. Uh, so there's mailtimers.com, motionmailapp.com, mailtimer.io, uh, promofeatures.com. There's a whole bunch of them. Today I'm just going to be using this one called Centric. Uh, so that's S-E-N-D-T-R-I-C.com. And the reason I'm using this is just because it's a really simple generator and you don't have to go through a lengthy sign up process. So to generate one of these cont uh, countdown timers, you can basically just pop in the details. So if you just search for your time zone and pop in the time that you want to change the timer to end. So I'm just going to say end this on Saturday and then you can customize the design of the timer. So in this case, I'm going to match the background color to the email background color and then I'm just going to change the label colors a little bit as well. So I'm just going to make these a bit darker. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to generate the countdown timer. So I've just hit generate and you can see here, it's given me this countdown timer that I can now use inside of our email. Um, so basically if you look down here, you'll see this special uh, image link that's in this source tag. So don't worry about all of the other code. All we're going to be focusing on for today is this link in between the source attribute here. So where I'm highlighting that, if you just copy that to your clipboard and then open up a new tab. So I've just opened that up in a new tab in the browser. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop this image. We have to actually copy it. So if we do copy image and then do paste with command V or control V if you're on Windows. And so now we've got our image layer and this is a static image layer. This is not a GIF, um, but the way we're going to be using this is to swap out the image URL with the live one in a second. So keep this tab open because we're going to be using it again in a second. So I'm going to be taking this image layer and I'm going to be moving it inside of my existing content layer. So I want to include the countdown timer in this content here. So I'm actually going to drag and drop that image directly into that column layer. So that's in there now. And I can center that by going to the column layer, clicking on the center icon in the auto layout settings. So that's now centered this image layer. And now what we want to do is we can either leave it at that size. So this is the um, 1x kind of size, but I actually want to make this a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go into my width properties and I'm just going to go divide by two. So I've just divided that by two. Um, and that's basically going to make it look a little bit sharper uh, once we now export this into HTML. So to make this dynamic, the way that we can do it is if you click on the image layer, once you've clicked on the image layer, you want to go into the plugin and click on the HTML and mobile settings button. 
And as you can see, once you click that, it loads up a whole bunch of options that you can apply to this image. And the one that we're interested in today is the override image source option. So what this allows us to do is paste in a custom image URL. And when this email gets exported to HTML in a moment, this value here is gonna be automatically swapped in place of whatever image we've got in Figma. And so I'll show you what that looks like. If we go back to our tab and just copy that URL, so copy that whole uh, dynamic countdown timer link that we generated, go back to your plugin and paste it inside of that override image source attribute and then close off the settings panel. And then we can now preview that by clicking on the preview uh, button up here. And this is gonna generate a HTML preview. This is a real HTML preview of the HTML email. So we can expand that out to go to a wider size so we can see what it looks like on desktop. And you can see here, this is a dynamic uh, GIF. So this is now pointing to the dynamic link that we got from our browser that we generated. This is now the exact same URL is now being loaded in to this image tag here uh, dynamically. So it's overriding whatever image is in Figma and it's swapping it out with that URL pointing directly to the countdown timer. So this is how we can include a dynamic countdown timer in our HTML email. And so I'm now gonna export that to HTML. And the way we do that is just by closing off the preview, clicking on the export HTML button. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna hit the HTML email option. There's a whole bunch of other platforms. If you're using a certain platform like MailChimp or Clavio, you can upload this directly into your platform. Today I'm gonna to keep it really simple and just download it to the computer. And I'm just gonna click export to HTML. And this is gonna generate the HTML for us. So I'm just gonna save that. I'm gonna download the zip file. I'm just gonna pop it on my desktop and hit save. And then if I open up the finder and just go to the desktop, double click on the zip file, open up the folder, and now if we open up the preview HTML, so I'm just gonna drag that into my browser, and you can see here that we've now got our exported HTML ready to go. It's got our countdown timer. We can see what it looks like on mobile. We can see what it looks like on desktop in this preview. Uh, if you want the actual HTML file that's exported, just go into the folder name, grab the index.html file and drop that in. And now you can see the full HTML. And if we go to view source, you can see if we explore the image source and then we go to our image tag. So I'm just gonna search for the image tag and you can see here that in the image tag, it's actually pulling in the same countdown uh, image that we generated before. Uh, and as I mentioned before, I went to the trouble of halving the size of that countdown. If you wanna leave it at the, the regular size, you can totally do that. Just put it back up to the normal size, preview that again, and you'll see that it's now much bigger. Um, so you can, you can make it whatever size you want. I just didn't want it to be too pixelated uh, if it got too big. So that's why I made it a little bit smaller before. And bear in mind, if you do make it bigger, it will automatically resize down on mobile as well. So if you do have a smaller mobile screen, that'll responsively uh, shrink the image width based on the width of the mobile uh, width as well. So you don't need to worry too much about that. Okay, so I think we'll leave it there for today. Um, I hope that's been helpful as some of you have been asking uh, for how to do this, how to insert a dynamic countdown timer uh, into your HTML emails using the Emailify plugin. Uh, and Figma. This is the best way to do it. As I mentioned, uh, explore some of these options. We've only gone through one of these services today. Some of the other services are gonna allow you to create more customizable uh, countdown timers. So do check out a whole bunch of different options and find the right one for you. As you can see here, some of these are much more advanced. Uh, you can customize the design a lot more. So this one is always uh, gonna be a basic one if you just want a really easy option. Um, but if you're wanting something that's more engaging, you might wanna check out some of these other services such as this one, mailtimer.io, uh, or some of the other ones that are available. We'll leave it there for today. Uh, I just wanted to focus on the countdown timer for this tutorial and keep it fairly straightforward. So uh, I hope that's been helpful as I said, and please feel free to give it a try in Figma with you or your team. And thank you as always for watching. We'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.